Okay, hello everyone, it's Gekrons here with Life on Earth. And we are back again with another video. This one is SJW attacking student for wearing unsafe hat. Um, MRU Calgary, Canada. Right in my backyard. Right in the old Canadian heartland. Okay, so, as you can see this poor gentleman, looks like he's wearing a Make, a, Make America Great Again. Interesting choice, interesting choice. Okay, so we got Canadian Trump supporters. Hey, why not? Okay, so uh, temerity of this video is a bunch of uptight butt hurt SJWs all over again. Yay, that's what we want to see. So let's view the video. Let's see what these little special snowflakes are throwing at us today, and let's get to it. Okay, so. Here we go. Is it, we allow, it's a public place? Public place. Make America great again. She's completely freaking out. We're allowed to film whatever. You're not allowed to share hate language. This, I'm saying make America great again. What, what is hate language about? You don't care. I want to hear. Make America great again means make America all for white people, no immigrants, no people. Okay, let's stop there for a second. Um, has anybody noticed that these SJWs get stupider every day? Make America Great Again. Okay, I'm not an American, but I kind of get where Trump was going with it through his election campaign. He wants to stop illegals from coming across the border. He never once said that he was against immigrants completely. So, that's a fallacy in itself. What the fuck is hate speech on uh, Make America Great, Make America Great Again? Um, there is no hate speech there. This girl needs to unpucker her asshole and maybe go speak to a proctologist. Maybe they'll find her head. Or at the very most, a fraction of her brain. Um, man, their hair gets longer every day. Fucking Jesus, look at that shit. Hair does that. Maybe she should trim that shit. It might help her brain breathe a little bit. What is with the, uh, looks like a leather hat. Just with that, what is she advertising for Kink Canada? <sighs> I wouldn't fuck that with his dick. Okay, um. His wife is an immigrant. His wife is an illegal. How is it no? You just said no immigrant. It doesn't mean anything. I could have a brother who's gay and I could not be supporting gay people. It doesn't mean anything. Your value. So why is he sick? You just say he doesn't like immigrants. His wife's an immigrant. It's li illegal immigrants. Okay, so uh, apparently if you have a gay brother and you are against gay, or maybe you have a lesbian sister, whatever. Her point, she's close. Uh, yeah, you can have gay siblings and be against gays. I had a gay dog. Yeah, you did. That was pretty interesting. Um, it doesn't mean that... Just because you don't support gays, because you have gay siblings, doesn't mean that because he has an immigrant wife, the guy that's wearing the hat, obviously, doesn't mean he's against immigrants. Obviously, he married her. He didn't really care about where she came from. He's against illegal immigrants. She illegal. doesn't know what that means. Apparently. Um, her argument is baseless and repetitive. I mean, look at that face. That just screams lack of intelligence right there. What a fucking nose. Jesus Christ. This is the girl that needs to get more dick. Uh, let's continue with this um, fake blonde retard. Grins, but he you're doesn't not, want. You're not even illegal. connecting. You're how, how, what's connecting. You're saying he, I asked you, does he not like immigrants? Your brain like, he doesn't like immigrants, bitch. Just because he's married to an immigrant doesn't mean that his policies and what he stands for is promoting people of different colors being in our It's illegal immigrants. Bing. Check, please. Woo. Keep wearing the hat, man. That's awesome. He doesn't Thanks. hate anyone. Yeah, no. Illegal immigrants. Illegal. Illegal immigrants. Listen, dude, like, we're friends and I level with you, but like, you gotta take the hat off. Or I'm gonna rate the president of the university and he's gonna come and talk to you because I already talked to him about this. It's not. 
Typical SJW tactic. I'm gonna go tell on you because I'm a little bitch who can't handle a different opinion. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark and say that this is a university campus, for one. Um, there's nothing unsafe about a hat. It's a hat. It's got one function. One. In some cases, two. The primary function is to cover your fucking head. Second function is to show some stupid message, whatever it may be. She doesn't need a hat. What she needs is to let her brain breathe. And uh, frankly, th this just goes to show you how idiotic the argument that SJWs put forth. She can't really argue the man. So she's going to resort to the only tactic she has in her deck, and that would be the tell on him card. It's the only card she can pull from her whitey SJW deck. Now, <clears throat> far be it for me to judge because I'm a, I'm a cynical prick, honestly, but this girl needs to grow up. And this is the sad fact of the SJWs. <laughs> Feminist, Black Lives Matter, doesn't matter. They're all the same. They're whiny conceited, narcissistic, and stupid. Very stupid. Well, let's continue watching her dig her verbal grave as this guy just pretty much laughs at her repeatedly, throws out facts, and she just com completely ignores them. Like, this is fucking stupid. Not allowed. It's hate language on campus. You can do with me or you can do with David Dockery. I waited to talk to you in person and I've already talked to you about this. You can laugh because it's so gonna happen. And I can't wait for him to come He's to wearing a hat that he wants happens. to wear. What is wrong with the hat? I'm not he allowed to wear a shirt. I'm not allowed to wear a shirt. Yeah, no, okay. Go, okay. Let's go. This is ridiculous. Okay, You're you all this is me now and you can see. Make uh, America great again. It's a, no. wearing a hat. It's Trump doesn't hate it's immigrants. So it's so so how is it so much more? You don't know anything about Trump. Who cares? You don't know, you know one more? Okay. Wait. Fuck you. Keep wearing the hat, man. Keep wearing the hat. What a, a fucking tool bag. This is a insane. This is a skinny little fuck. What the hell is this asshole? If I have my Trump stuff, this girl is just fucking mad. Who's wearing the hat? Do so you if you want me to come talk to David, why does he have to take it off? Make America. Why does he have to take it off? Do me a favor, please. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just um, that's assault. What a faggot. Don't give him the hat back. Okay, hold on. Let's look at that. Okay, so this guy's clearly a cuck. This is your typical whiny little bitch that uh, is trying to score fuck points with some slutty little SJW. Seriously, social justice warriors, this is your representatives? Really? What kind of fucking bullshit is this? That's assault. University campus deans, all of you, maybe you should listen up and Pull your heads from your asses. That is assault. That is a clear-cut case of assault. The minute you go within someone's personal space and deny them their right to their attire, clearly that guy wants to wear that hat. These people had no right to touch him, and they did. The minute they removed his hat, that was assault. That is bullshit. You really need to think twice on this, people, because frankly, if I was this guy, I'd have punched that little prick right in the face twice. And then buried my fucking boot in his ass. And do you, uh, do you Trump supporters, you guys gotta grow some balls. Don't let this crap continue. Support your ideology, and sometimes you gotta prepare to use a little bit of physical force to support it. Because frankly, you can't allow these people to keep getting away with it. It's bullshit. If you don't like it, stand up for yourself. If they're assaulting you, and clearly they have uh, they have video proof of this, punch him in the face, 
break his nose. Make sure when you hit him, he goes down. Hard. He tries to get back up, boot fuck him. Repeatedly. Until he can't move. To all you white straight guys out there that are like me, you can't keep taking it. Because they're never going to stop. Personally, I say fight back. You may get arrested. Big deal. It's an assault charge. Who gives a shit? But are you going to live in a world where you have to kowtow down to every single asshole who tells you that you're scum because of what you wear? Is that really what you want to do? I guarantee you, I'm, I can damn well actually guarantee you most of you are saying, fuck no. And rightfully so. You shouldn't have to. It's bullshit. Pure bullshit. Looking at this image here, you got one fat chick that's standing out to the side not doing fuck all. You got one woman that's thinking she's hot shit in a champagne glass when really she's cold diarrhea in a Dixie cup. She looks like she's wearing one too. Then you have this little bastard, Mr. Uh, Captain Sabaho here, coming in being you know your typical little SJW beta male fuckwit. Thinking that he's gonna get an unsatisfactory hand job in the back of a car because he saved the bitch from a hat. A fucking hat. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. Keep your fucking hands to yourselves. You truly believe in equality? You truly believe that everyone should be able to express their opinions? Prove it. I got a challenge for every SJW out there. Next time you see a Trump supporter, walk away. Don't engage them. Leave them alone. Have your opinions. Fine. And another challenge. Challenge number two. Every time you do a peaceful protest, try not breaking anything. You don't want a cop wedging a nightstick up your ass or pepper spraying you. Do a peaceful protest, an actual peaceful protest, and hold your little sign. Chant your stupid shit. And try keeping your hands to yourselves. Because frankly, I'm hoping to see some people actually start knocking your teeth out. Because if I was in their position, Captain Skinny there would have been on the ground holding his teeth in his hand. Because I'd have belted him twice. I might go out and get a Trump hat just to see how many of you try it with me. Anyhow my audience. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share it, and we're going to be between uh, Life on Earth and myself and a few others. We're going to try to come up with some uh, alternate content for you. Something a little more interactive. So watch for advertisement on this channel, Life on Earth. And uh, Send me some videos that you want me to do. I have no problem. I have no wish of doing it. Whatever it is. Bring it on. And I'm going to be doing another video coming up on uh, religious garbage. I think you might like it. I'm going to make this one the Islamic edition. So I'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.